Welcome to my budget deck channel where I try to make decks as cheap and playable as possible. So if this is something you'd be interested in then why not subscribe. Today I had a look at uh, the new structure deck. Yes, I'm making it on time this time. Usually I take a while till I make structure deck videos, but this one I was very interested in because Dark Magician is kind of a, it's a very special deck in a sense because it has like some plays here and there, but they don't all really connect together. They're both a bit, uh, they're all, not both, they're all a bit, uh, iffy from time to time like you can do lots of stuff but certain things work certain things really don't work and I have tried to make a version that does enough to actually win the game and annoy your opponent because usually you either have like some sort of field presence but then not really many uh, interaction with your opponent or you have like some interaction but then you have a hard time getting uh, your dark magician on board and this version is mainly the structure deck with some uh, rares and normal uh, rares um, added to it. No extra ultra rares, no extra super rares, so this is basically just 1500 gems and some extra crafting material which most people have uh, plenty of if you don't then uh, yeah open maybe a few packs or do something but uh, usually uh, it's quite easy to get these crafting materials. Then uh, starting off with two Dark Magician, you can run three. I tried out three, but it is a brick in your hand a lot of the time. And it's not enough to just say like, oh yeah, but what if you get Eternal Soul, you have so many ways of getting it. And yes, fair enough. Then it's not just a brick in your hand. Then it's a chump blocker basically, because technically it doesn't do anything if you don't have Dark Magical Circle then, or if you have anything else. You can play it at three if you want. Um, if you want to get rid of uh, certain cards like Magician of Chaos, you don't want to be playing this card, I totally understand. Then cut one of this. If you want to be cutting one Manju, then um, you can always cut these kind of cards and play the uh, Triple Dark Magician if you like. I did trial out Illusion of Mag uh, Magic because you can search it, and it does do stuff for certain cards. But then in the end, uh, you don't really have problems getting your Dark Magicians out of your deck. You have more of an issue uh, with cards like Successor of Soul that you kind of want them in your hand. But running uh, Illusion Magic just because I run one Successor of Soul didn't seem that reasonable. So I decided not to do that. Big Playmaker and very strong card in uh, various decks. Um, <coughs> Spirals. This card is uh, very, very strong. It gives you draws. It gives you body on board. Uh, technically, you can link it off, but... You know, the budget version doesn't have that many good uh, cards that you can link it off. Linkery will come to mind, Almirage might uh, come to mind, but yeah, this one uh, has to make do without them. But there are certain things you can do uh, with using this card on board so it doesn't just sit along. You can use it as fusion material, you can use it for your successor, so you can use it for your Doctor Newell. That uh, should all be okay and this card then can search you lots of stuff it gets your dark magician to the graveyard for all of your eternal soul searchers so that's quite good so you have that set up going you technically can even special summon your dark magician or dark magician girl if you for that matter if you want this and this card is searchable by the new ritual monster that i'll be talking about in a second triple magicians rod this card searches your playmakers and since this deck isn't too great on normal summons three is absolutely fine you can recycle it which is quite nice so this card does a lot one of the maybe a bit odd cards of this deck manji of the ten thousand hands and um, this deck is by no means a ritual deck you can really see it's not really meant to be summoning many ritual monsters besides magician of chaos which is quite interesting um, because this card actually counts as dark magician on board and in the graveyard so you can always get it back if you have this card in rotation with your et uh, eternal soul then this card can actually be really nice but it also is a bit of a brick so if you don't want to run it understand but if it goes off it is quite fun and it's not too hard to get it off but mainly uh, manju is here to search your illusion of chaos to then search your uh, magician soul and so on and so on this card would be a tiny bit better if it was a spellcaster but it is the way it is so uh, we have to make do with one what we have you can still use it for ritual summoning and uh, stuff so that's fine but would have been nice if you could also use it for uh, fusion summoning one dark magician girl that's mainly because uh, it gives you a draw two instead of a draw one and also you can send it to the graveyard with magician souls and also it works because we run double the field spell to search and then you can get more monsters on board you can get more stuff back with dark renewal it's another card in the deck that you can summon uh, that is at least not absolutely terrible instead of dark magician you can run different cards if you run dark magician girl there's like lots of uh, support for this bond between teacher and student all the stuff that belongs with it 
Uh, Magician's Combination is a card you could be running if you want. If you want to cut one of these cards, for example, one of these two, then you could run Magician's Combination. It's a bit hard because the setup isn't super easy, but technically you could be doing this. Uh, and then you have Dark Burning Magic and uh, lots of crazy stuff. We're not focusing too much on this. If you want to cut this, it's fine. But for the grind game, having this like draw two by being able to send it off to the graveyard, you can use it for fusions as well. There's uh, this one that actually does stuff with Dark Magician Girl, so that's quite cool. Uh, yeah, it's not the greatest card and I can see why you wouldn't want to cut this and you easily can. Um, but I decided to stick with it because it actually did do some stuff, but it's not the most important card. This card is uh, as a one-off a lot more important because you can actually search it. It's very nice to be searched. Um, because you then can go into very important fusion cards. Usually the one that you can go into with the actual fusion cards is mainly the Dark Magician, which is it's fine. This is also another card that benefits off of having a Dark Magician go on your deck. So this is absolutely fine of a card. It does some stuff, it draws you something, it, it, it does things, but it's not crazy crazy. This card is some protection and yeah, it's also okay-ish uh, so there's lots of things that you can be doing if you have a dragon for example this needs a dragon so this is uh, fine and this one is a bit of a different one because for this one um, Demias doesn't actually really help you nothing really helps you that much because you need one dark magician or one chaos or black luster soldier ritual monster magician of chaos is a chaos monster so we have this we can actually go into um, master of chaos with this and illusion of chaos is also a chaos monster so we have multiple ways to actually going into this one so that's quite a nice one but doesn't have anything to do with demise demise is mainly here to uh substitute for uh running <laughs> the eye of demise because the eye of demise is still not really searchable and uh, it's a bit annoying because you already need a card on board with this one it's enough because you can actually fusion summon from the extra deck using monsters in your hand or field but it has to be including a spellcaster but that is not really a problem because uh surprise surprise you have to have dark magician anyway magician of chaos uh, is quite nice it, the second effect doesn't really matter because you can special summon chaos monster um from your hand technically it can come up but usually it's not too good but the other effect is quite nice because you can get get it back from the graveyard and when uh, you activate a spell trap card effect which is quite nice because it triggers first of all on your eternal soul but also on your dark magical circle it's once per turn but still uh, you can pop one card on the field so it helps against back decks it comes back the whole time it's still level seven so it's not that hard to summon so this card is actually better than it might look like Searcher for the deck, search as your Magician Soul, search as your Rod, search as your uh, Timaeus, search as your Dark Magician Girl if for some reason you want this. You can shuffle itself back or you can shuffle back another card that's a brick in your hand like Dark Magician, like any other kind of card that you might not want to be seeing in your hand at that time. So that's quite nice. You can Ritual Summon this card actually. It's not too bad if it's on board. Um, it can do stuff, like it can negate certain things. Uh, it's a win effect which is a bit annoying. Um, but you can negate an effect. Uh, sadly, it doesn't destroy, but you can special summon a Dark Magician from your graveyard. You see, it takes a bit of a setup, but if you search a Magician Soul before, then this card at least... The effect works if you want to summon it, but usually you don't summon it, you just use it as a card that can gain you resources or cards that you want to see. Magician Salvation, very good card to search your Eternal Soul, and then if you already have one in hand or um, whatever, then this card is also another spell card you can send to the graveyard to draw a card with Magician Souls, so that's quite nice. And if you uh, normal uh, or special summon a Dark Magician, you can special summon a Dark Magician Girl from your graveyard or the other way around, but this is mainly the way that it happens. Dark Magical Circle at 3, I debated it should I run it at 2, but 3 it's actually quite nice because we have a lot of cards that we can actually uh, turn over which didn't used to be the case but now it felt a bit better it felt like there were more cards in this deck that you can actually excavate and then hit so you don't miss all that much and it is a very impo important combo piece with eternal soul actually so um i did get over my inhibition of running this card at two and actually played at three because you have so many ways of getting eternal soul and you have so many searchers that this card in combination with it is a very strong combo that you can replicate every single turn not just during your turn every single turn and that is quite nice Another card you don't have to run, but I do like running. Um, first of all, you can easily send it to the Griever at one point by Magician Souls because uh, it's a continuous, so that doesn't matter too much. If uh, And every time you get your um, Dark Magician out, you draw a card, which is quite nice. And that's not even it. When an attack is uh, declared involving an opponent's monster, a monster you control that is level 5 high normal monster, or was Ritual or Fusion Summoned using one of these, which will you will be doing a lot, actually, then you can make... Um, 
that monster you control and gain attack equal to the opponent's monster so you don't have any problems actually hitting over stuff which is also very very nice forbidden chalice good going first good going second trigger stuff like uh, your magician of chaos is just like a good disruption card in general that you can basically play anything you want uh, instead of this card soul servant very nice searches your stuff can be annoying sometimes if you don't start with magician souls because then this card is mainly just to put stuff on top of your deck can be helpful with uh, dark magic circle so you don't whiff um but the draw is obviously what really matters about this card but this card uh you can still use it like on a later turn so it's not terrible terrible secrets of dark magic at two because we do not run stuff like i have to Myers, and this card is searchable and it's a quick spell so it's somewhat of a disruption somewhat of an interaction with the opponent it helps you ritual summoning it uh, helps you fusion summoning um and it helps you push for game during the battle phase if you attack with like two dark magicians and whatnot then use uh, this card go into another fusion and then you have the damage on board that you need so i feel like that card at two is quite nice because there's not really a way for you to get it back uh, there is ways for getting it back but uh I feel like uh, having it in the deck to be able to search it from there as well is quite neat. One successor soul, it's uh, non-destruction removal, which is quite nice. It gets your Dark Magician on board, so it triggers your Dark Magic Circle as well. And it does stuff with uh, monsters on your side of the field. And it's good for one second because it's a quick spell, so you can actually use it during your turn as well. Dark Renewal, kind of the same but different. You have to control a... Uh, spellcaster monster and uh, it's doing your opponent's turn and it's <laughs> kind of in turn when your opponent's so, uh, normal or special summons uh, monsters then uh, you can use this effect but the good thing about this is it doesn't have to be a normal, uh, normal monster you summon it has to be a dark spellcaster of which you have a few more so this card is less likely to be dead but this card is technically a bit stronger then lost wind because this card first of all can be reset if you send it to the graveyard with magician souls so that's something that is quite nice and also it's permanent effect and uh, it halves attack and negates effect so i feel like this card is a very very strong budget card in general and people that know my channel will know that i love running lost wind destined rivals don't really love the card but with how easy it is to get dark magician up and this card is searchable and it's a blanket negate it's really nice. Would have been cool if you could have used it from hand if the only monster you control is Dark Magician or Blue as White Dragon or something. Then that would have been maybe a tiny bit uh, better. But like this, it's still it's still fine. It's not as broken as it sounds, um, but it does stuff. Eternal Soul, very good uh, card in this deck as well. For the fusions, we run one of this, one of this. Not that they really come up. We run two of this. Technically, you cut them down to one as well. I feel like uh, one is mainly all you need. Two of this, this might come up more often that you actually go into two master of chaos uh, at two basically never came up like never you could cut this kind down into one uh, most likely even illusion magician doesn't really happen that much because especially in this kind of variant um you will not be special summoning really because you only run two and most of the time you kind of need two to go into this card you have other level sevens don't get me wrong you have this one you have this one but doesn't really come up but your extra deck is something that uh, you don't need that much space so like this card one is fine triple m dark because that's a way to get your um dark magician actually back to the graveyard and then you can still link some of it and do stuff um it turns into an effect monster as well which is uh, quite helpful for certain things like geonator and uh, you can then trigger eternal soul again so that's quite nice pass domino uh, link to generic generic link two and generic link three you can play deco talk if you want but uh, this card is quite nice as well because just like a high attack point monster and it can do some stuff but deco talker and these kind of things or whatever obviously good stuff you have nightmare uh, unicorn and whatnots uh, come to mind that is a bit better than this one magic Caribou. i wanted to talk about the effect sounds really 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 interesting it's not necessarily good but it's interesting and it can be quite funny if you have dark magical circle up and this card resets itself and uh, you get to do some stuff but i played it i play tested it and it like never did anything it like never did anything it reads so fun but it did absolutely nothing for me another card uh, you could be considering if you have it uh, this card at one two three maybe can be uh, somewhat interesting to play especially then technically you can go to rank sixes ooh, which uh, is something to consider then the whole combo with the quintet magician and uh, magicalized fusion if this card was searchable i'd say like yes run it at one because it can be somewhat neat if uh, in the grind game you then just use the stuff that you have in your graveyard but if you only run two dark magicians you kind of don't want to banish one and also quintet magician needs five spellcaster monsters like think about how many cards you need in your graveyard to get to five spellcaster monsters and 
it just doesn't happen in this variant so i felt like Mag magicalized fusion doesn't do as much as uh, other cars that are would want to run instead so i decided not to dark magic attack sounds like a really good card but there's a big problem this card is quite dead in your hand yes you can shuffle it back with illusion of chaos yes you can send it to the griever but a lot of the time um you take a while to get your dark magician out like mainly it's not first turn but when you start this card you kind of want to use it yes it's searchable if you really want to if the meta is like super back row -y and uh, super floodgatey then yes, run this card. I felt like it was more dead than not, but it is a strong card after all. So yeah, consider it, um, but it doesn't do all that much in a lot of other scenarios. Hope you enjoyed the deck profile. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, I hope you have a nice day.